Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be going over three separate things. The first one being where you guys can go ahead and find Madame Nazar for today. The second thing that we're actually going to go over is all of the different collection sets and their current cycles. And then last but not least, we're going to go over all of the daily challenges in extensive detail so that you guys can earn as much gold as possible here in Red Dead Online. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get started by showing you right where you guys can find a Madame Nazar. And uh, she is actually in the exact same spot that she was yesterday along the Dakota River Bank. So we don't actually have to go that far. Um, so hopefully if this is the only thing that you guys came here for today, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video because it really does help me out. It shows your support to the channel. And honestly, it will help our other people if you guys just hit that like button. All it does is take a couple seconds of your time. And honestly, it will help other people get to this video because they're probably looking for the same information that brought you guys here originally as well. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. But also, stick around for the rest of the video. would definitely appreciate that. All right, so let's go and talk about the different collection sets and their current cycles. Um, now, personally, I like to go after the coins and the lost jewelry just because you do make the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time possible. Coins and the uh, lost jewelry, including the family heirlooms and the arrowheads, all require the field shovel and or the metal detector in order to collect them. Sometimes both, sometimes just one or the other. Just sometimes it's just kind of how it goes. But $540 per hour, you make, it'll take you about three to three and a half hours to complete those collection sets. For the coins, we got cycle number five. For the lost jewelry, we have cycle number two. For the family heirlooms, we have cycle number one. And then for the arrowheads, we have cycle number three. Now, the next four sets I'm actually about to go over, you don't even have to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. So hopefully you get that as soon as you possibly can. I advise getting the collector bag as soon as you possibly can because it is the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online. And unless for whatever reason, Rockstar decides to do a triple bonus week like we had a couple weeks ago with the showdown modes, then that is probably um, equivalent to it. But honestly, collecting is super, super simple and it's uh, very, very easy and you make a lot of money doing it. All right, so we got American Wildflowers, which is going to be a part of cycle number two for today. We have the tarot cards, which is going to be a part of cycle number four. We have the antique alcohol bottles, also a part of cycle number four. And then we have the bird eggs, which are going to be a part of cycle number five for today. All right, now the next thing that we're actually going to go over is all the different uh, daily challenges. We're going to quickly go over the list first, and then we're going to go over them in detail. So let's go ahead and do that now. One, escape the law. Five, feathers sold. One, finish race mode in race series. One, multiplayer kills in five seconds within a showdown mode. We have three player kills with a bow in showdown. We have three player kills with a shotgun in free roam events. And then we have five red fin pickerel caught. We have three arrowheads. Oh, we have three arrowheads found. Three collectibles found with a shovel. We have three collector maps used. Two dollars of money made from trading. Six perfect carcasses donated to Crips. Ten small animal carcasses donated to Crips. Three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. Three more than one bounty target brought in at once. One player bounty collected. Two crafted toxic moonshine. Two moonshine bar dance for two minutes. Then last but not least, we have two moonshine story missions completed. All right, so you guys can actually earn 11 gold bars from the daily challenges each and every single day. Um, right now, without any type of double or triple gold, daily challenges are the best way of earning gold in Red Dead Online. You can make 11 gold bars every single day. There's only two requirements. And number one is to complete at least one daily challenge every single day for 21 days in a row and then maintaining that. So just one daily challenge going forward. And then the other thing that you guys are going to want to do is make sure that you guys have all the current roles and be at least and be at least a rate 10 in each of those roles in order to make as much gold as possible. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the actual like list. So shall we? So we got escape the law. All you have to do is like shoot some people or whatever it might be. Just get yourself wanted and then go ahead and escape it. 
you can pretty much do this at uh, virtually any um, you can do this at virtually any town so it could be Valentine Blackwater doesn't matter just get wanted by the law and then escape the law five feathers sold you guys are gonna need to go to the butcher in order to do this so anywhere that there's a butcher tumbleweed Blackwater um, you can go to Strawberry, Valentine, Rhodes, or San Denis in order to sell those. We have to finish a race mode, so a race series. It will probably take five to eight minutes to complete that. It's relatively boring, and they're not super exciting anyway. But uh, that is one of the daily challenges for today. We have one multiplayer kill within five seconds in a showdown mode. So the best way to actually do this is to... Um, Use explosive rounds, or if you guys can do like uh, name your weapon and use the shotgun, you can usually get two mul or a multiplayer kill within a five second period. The next one is three player kills with a br with a bow in showdown. So make sure that you bring it in there, or before the next match starts, that you equip it instead of one of your other weapons. You can use dynamite arrows if you want to in order to get this one, or explosive di explosive arrows, whatever you want to use is perfectly fine. Um, as long as you're just using the bow. The next one is to have three kills with a shotgun in free roam events. So you're looking at like cold dead hands, um, dispatch rider, railroad bear, and things like that. So we have four things that are technically PVP related today. So if you're not really into PVP, then today is going to be an unfortunate day for you guys. Then we got five redfin pickerel to be caught. Uh, the best way to catch them is with a bread with bread bait and you guys can do this and I like to go pretty much find redfin pickerel pretty much anywhere. I like to do this along the Dakota River and you can pretty much do this from um, Cumberland Falls all the way down to Bart's Crossing. You can do this in upper and lower Montana rivers or along um, Massa River right here next to Caliga Hall or even up a little bit further. Pretty much any river you're going to be fine going after the redfin pickerel. All right, next on the list is going to be the roll challenges for today. Three arrowheads found. So again, arrowheads are going to be a part of cycle number three. And arrowheads will actually be found with a shovel anyway. And so that's easily to get those done. So just go after any three arrowheads on cycle number three. And you're going to be able to get those done. And then you can, or you can use one of the collector maps to locate your three arrowheads. And then go ahead and collect them. So if you don't really want to look at this the set you can just pull up your map through madame nazar and go and get them and then just use two other maps for collecting the things unless you got a ton of money and you don't care about it and you're just trying to get the gold whatever way works for me and for you obviously as well you have 200 dollars money made from trading so just basically do a local delivery because you're going to get 500 dollars as long as you have a full 100 goods to be able to be sold and then maybe invite some friends because they make 250 so they can get this completed for helping you, plus they get some you know, money for doing that, plus they can get their daily challenge out of the way. Or if you don't personally have it, have uh, offer to help a friend do a delivery so that you can get that $250 instead. We have six perfect carcasses donated to Crypt, so I've had a few people tell me that you can do this with two-star animals. I haven't tried this out. I When I do this, and I don't do this very often, I'm not really doing a lot of hunting or doing much with the trader role anymore. But if I do this, I specifically am looking for anything that's three star or um, not any other thing that's just two star to make sure that it kind of glitches out the game or whatever happens. But it should be a three star and it can be anything. So if it's a small or medium animal, use your varmint rifle. And if it's a large animal, then use like a bolt action rifle. And then we have 10 small animal carcasses donated to Crypt. So the small animals are going to include bats, rats, toads, bullfrogs, squirrels, western chipmunks, um, and then crows and any of the small birds like waxwings, sparrows, blue jays, cardinals, things like that. And you can find a ton of these like anywhere in the heartland and a ton of them in um, the Great Plains during the daytime hours. We have three eagle eye used to track a bounty target. So the bounty missions or the bounty hunter rule is the only rule that does pay out additionally in gold. So I definitely recommend that if you guys are going to do any of these, these are the ones that you want to focus on. The three eagle eye used to track a target. The best way to do this, and it's completely random if you get offered this mission as well. But if you get the opportunity of searching and inspecting different areas to find out where your bounty target might be located, you always have to typically 
inspect three of the areas and that will give you each time that you inspect something you just want to use your eagle eye to track that bounty target and that way you can get that one completed so if you get that offered right away at the beginning then this one won't take very long to get completed otherwise if you're going to one that isn't offered as an inspect and it's just right to the bounty target then what you're going to want to do is let them run away then track them then let them run away and then track them and let them run away and then Hopefully that counts for you guys. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it individual times going forward. So we got three, more than one bounty target brought in at once. The best way to do this is with a friend. That way you both can kind of benefit from doing this together. Because you will get it as long as you both have the same daily challenge. But that way you can make sure that you can guarantee that you get your bounty targets alive. Otherwise, if you don't care, then you can kill one, put one on the back of your horse, and then drag one back with your lasso. You can kill them both and throw them in your a bounty wagon. There's a variety of different ways that you want to do this, but if you want to keep them both alive, the best way, in my opinion, is to bring a friend. And then, player bounty collected. The best way to do this is with a friend and not in the same posse. What you're going to want to do is have your friend basically shoot you, and then you're going to press charges on them until they get a high enough bounty, and then you're going to go after them when, a, when it's offered to you. And then you return the favor, by you killing your friend, them pressing charges on you, and then them allowing to turn you in when that time comes. Then that last ones are going to be the Moonshiner rule. Um, we have got crafted toxic moonshine. You just have to do that twice. Now this will require you guys to own the pamphlet, which will cost $500 to buy it. You won't use the toxic moonshine unless you're actually doing a daily challenge anyway. If you don't have the money, spend your money on something else. If you have the money, then by all means, buy the pamphlet and do this daily challenge. We have two Moonshine Bar. Dance for two minutes, two times. Uh, basically, you're going to be dancing for four minutes and you're going to be holding down a button that entire time. And then last but not least, we have to complete two Moonshine Story Missions. So you can either do this one of two ways. If you haven't done the Story Missions, go and talk to Maggie. That's a way to do this one. Or you can actually just talk to her again and recomplete some of them. Or you can go into your progress, in a progress area and then start one of those Moonshiner missions, and either way will work. But that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding the daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below so that I can do my best to help you guys out, because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Also, don't forget to check out the live streams every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Those times are going to be listed on my website, which is GamerCorey.com. If you guys want to make sure that you guys are getting notified for those live streams, then what you're going to want to do is check my live my website, GamerCorey.com, the day that I'm going live, so Monday, Wednesday, or Friday. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.